uh, down in Chia was so nice to have us come over and, and talk a little bit about hockey and Alaska hockey. So we've got uh, Don Lucia, Sean Jones, and Mark Bowen, myself, Paul Burke, uh, all former Nanarks. <laughs> the early days of the program were certainly interesting because there was not a lot of money. And so you try to stretch it as far as you could. There was a lot of meal money, uh, how we travel. I mean, this day and age, there's no way they'd let you go. I believe the stand plan. I bribe around and a couple of 15, 15 past new bands and carnival pan. Usually, I think if I remember correctly, player drills in the bands at times as well. Yeah. But those days, uh, we didn't stay in five star hotels. You'd try and negotiate some better rates for uh, meals. And even, I still reflect every time I drive into the Mankato when I'm going to watch Minnesota State uh, play in the, in the CCH area. And I'll go by the uh, Super 8 and the Big Boy restaurant right next door and go and negotiate a pre game meal and give them a try to. Throwing the beverage for free. And those are those are the things you had to do back then. And then, uh, well, the athletic department was a little squeaky back then. Uh, we were trying to it was tight. The stick seemed to last forever. We didn't have a choice. We didn't have a choice. They were heavy. Yeah. And, uh, that stick better have broken before you were going to get it. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. But, you know, hard to reflect on that. That's what makes it fun. It's been in the, like you guys, you were a part of the beginning of the ball. And the success they've had, NCAA tournament, the guys that have gone on to play in the NHL, guys that have won Stanley Cup rings, you know, new way to grow work for all that. And I think that's the beauties of when you're on the ball and floor, and, and I feel that way too, that, you know, it was a fun time to be there, because I, I grew as a coach, yeah. you know, the um, I was much older than you guys at the time, and uh, so, you know, you're kind of buddies, you're trying to separate, but you guys got a chance to grow up at that point in time, and I got a chance to grow up as a coach here at too. So I have a lot of fond memories of the Nanooks back in the day, of the 81, 82, 83. Oh, obviously one of the, the jerseys has been retired for the Nanooks, Steve Moria. You were the guy that first saw Steve, correct? Yeah, Steve was a pretty special player. Um, and I, I saw him, he played for Richmond, and we were creating a lot of uh, British Columbia players in BC Junior League. I'd never been in there before, so why to see I get a card, get your Atlas, and we reminisce, and it's not now where you just plug it in your Apple yeah. Play and the card and yeah. takes you everywhere. So I literally had to travel with an Atlas to map out directions, you know, in the city of Vancouver, what grades you get into. But yeah, he was a he was a heck of a player. Uh, we were fortunate a little bit because of his age. I think he only had three years of old to go to right, Division One level. And some people thought he was a little bit slight, but he could certainly dance on the ice. And we all saw that. If he came in and you know, obviously one year ones that changed the orbit. You know, he's one of the best players I've ever coached. And the best people, as you know, the power. He was really good off the ice. Uh, took care of himself. Was a heck of an athlete. But, Wait, he played hockey at Inlet till he's 50 some years old. <laughs> I don't think they knew his age. He kept it that way, but he had a, he had a heck of a career. Uh, but it wasn't just him, it was that, that group. And then when they came in, you know, the returning guys, you know, embraced him as well. And that, that's important. It wasn't James and stuff like that. But, you know, they became a team pretty quickly. But, you know, he's obviously one of their household names when they think of uh, UAF hockey with Steve Warner. Heck of a player, heck of a person. That absolutely still is. Still is. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But Don, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Don. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.